Hello, hello. This is Jilly Bling. How are you today? Are you all ready for Valentine's Day? I know I've done a lot of um, Valentine's Day cards lately, and it's just this designer paper. It is so cute that I keep wanting to make more, and I think I've used every sheet. Okay, minus one design. I've used every sheet in the pack, and I still have more ideas, but I'm going to try to limit it. Um, so, here are a couple of projects, and they're not fully stuck together just so I could show you a few things. So I'll show you that in just a minute. Um, we'll be using Real Bread Blushing Bride, three stamp sets, Sweet Conversations, Peaceful Moments, and Blossoms in Bloom. And these two are more for the words. And dies, we'll be using Sweetheart Dies, and that's to cut out these hearts. And then change of pace, word wishes, and that's to make this happy Valentine's Day in a foil. And then there's these, I think they're, what are they called? Gems, wonderful gems, and they're in, you could get them today. Today's the last day, and um, I think they were in the clearance rack too, but they're part of the holiday catalog. So there's that sample. This one isn't completely stuck down yet. And then there is this sample, and this, um, last year or the year before, Lynn Dunn from Stamtastic Designs made a card similar to this, and I copied her, her layout, her idea. Added a little bit of different stuff, used different stamp sets, but it's just very sweet. Um, so the reason I didn't fully assemble these was, just so you could see that I took a piece of ribbon, wrapped it around just a little bit, then took another piece of ribbon, and I'm going to tie that on. So it looks like I took it all the way around and tied it, but trying to have success in tying a knot when you tie it all the way around, usually it's too loose or it's too tight, but this just makes it easy. And then I'll trim up the ends. And that's one thing about ribbon that is two different sides, two different prints, usually you end up with one print that you're not exactly happy with, but that's okay. It's okay for here. Um, okay, and so after you get that tied on there, then use your tape runner or whatever tape you're using. I ran out of stamp and seal. And you could just attach it like normal. And when you look at these cards, do you notice that the designer paper is on two different sides? Um, I did that on purpose just because we're going to be tearing this designer paper. And if somebody tears it the wrong way, they're going to go, oh no, I messed up. But it's okay. You could have your focal point here on this side, on the left, or on the right. And this is the torn paper I'm referring to. Okay, so this one is fully done. Now this one, I put just a little bit of adhesive to hold the ribbon, and that's what was holding it in place. But you know, this this one, just to be a bit different, let's put it on dimensionals. And you all use this outside edge, right? Because it works just, just fine. So last night it was so windy here. I'm all I'm sure all of you local girls know exactly what day I'm talking about cuz last night that was crazy. Laying in bed, I thought all the trees they have to be down. They're pretty strong. Not much of a mess out there this morning. But wow, makes it hard for sleeping. Whenever I have a hard day sleeping, I always say it's going to be a nap day. Do I ever take a nap? No. Maybe go to bed half an hour early the next day, but it's a nap day, but I haven't taken a nap. Okay, so this one, the white crinkle ribbon, just like the other, I wrapped it around, and then I stuck this bow on with a glue dot. So, same concept, just a little different. And if 
you're using these words, make sure to save your little I, the little dot on the I. Not that I threw it away and had to make another one out of the scrap. Yeah. Okay, so this project is now done. Three hearts at the bottom, three hearts at the bottom. Happy Valentine's Day. Life is better with a friend like you. I have a lot of friends that are very important and it should go to someone like the someone like them. Like you a lot. Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks, Lynn, for posting your ideas. I really like this one. So for today. Using the Peaceful Moments stamp set. And this is Simply Elegant Trim. So should we do gold or silver? How about, how about the silver? Because we did gold on that one. I took some of it and wound it onto here. Just makes it a little bit easier. We'll use the Wonderful Gems. This is for stamping the hearts on. The, oh, did you notice that? Right here, this paper. Let me put it at the side so you can kind of see it. See the um, hearts? A little bit of texture on there. So, Dottie Hearts. It's a um, set of two embossing folders in the annual catalog. And I have a piece. And because it's a random pattern, you could just put it in here anywhere. If it was a um, not random pattern, I'm sure there's a word for that. Um, then I would line it up with this little black line right down here. Okay, so there it is. Textured, looking cute as can be. Okay, so all these pieces. Let's start from the bottom and work up. Start with the base paper. Fold that in half. Okay, these are inside papers. Probably should have a plan with that, but I don't yet. And this is going to go on here, here. These are for the hearts that we're gonna stamp, and then this will go under here. So, when it comes to tearing paper, a lot of people, it frightens them, but it's not so bad. So, when you have your paper, if you tear, Turn it over, and if you pull it toward you to tear, the reason I show you this is because when you turn it over, you could say, yeah, that's torn, but you don't see the white core. When you flip it over, you see the white core. So just for the purpose of this project, look at the striped side and pull the paper, kind of zigzagging a little bit, have the piece coming toward you and the white core will be hidden. If you want the white core to show, have the pretty hearts looking. I'll do just a little bit over here. See how the white core now is showing? But to me that's just a little bit too um, rustic and I don't want that. I want it to be a tour, yes, but a little bit more refined. So I'm leaving the white core here to the back. And just tear off just a little bit. And it's important that you don't tear it halfway through the middle because then our little blushing bride panel probably will not cover. If you tore it too far, um, you would see the white card base. Okay, so that will go on there. Let's we'll start assembling this, but for now, let's stamp the hearts. The hearts are going to be stamped in Real Red, Blushing Bride. And in Sweet Conversations, there are three different size hearts. The big one and two little ones. This one is a little bit more fluffy and this one is a little bit more streamlined. So looking at these projects, I used little fluffy one, big one. So let's use this sleek, this sleek heart, which I think is a little bit more the heart that's used on the paper. 
but it, it doesn't matter. Whatever heart you like is good. So that is this heart. So I will do three in Real Red and two in Blushing Bride. You could do them all in one color, however you like. Okay, three in Real Red. And you know what, while I have this, I should have a plan for, while I have it dirty. Let's see, that's just at the bottom. That's going down the side. Okay, so this one, I'm going to do it all over at the bottom. So while I've got this heart dirty with real red, I'm just going to put some random ones here at the bottom. I'm trying to leave room for the blushing bride hearts. Okay, that's good. That's random. So now, on to Blushing Bride. Okay, you all have a chamois, right? I know mine is a mess. It's well loved. This side I have the bubbles on. And these little things, I cut it up, but it's good to get in all the corners and kind of give it a rinse. Alrighty. Party on. So now, Blushing Bride Hearts. And I just re-ink this pad. So if ever you re-ink it, and you go to stamp with a detailed or a stamp with um, kind of a realistic look looking stamp, see this little kind of lighter spot, the dry spot? My stamp is happy there. When I go over here, it is splotchy and a mess. I could take, I'm not going to touch, I don't want to stain it. I could push a lot of the ink over here to the side, and then the whole pad would be good, but this little spot right here, that's not too heavily inked, is working just fine for me today. So, two of those, and then a few of these here for the bottom. Yeah, my stamp is acting a little bit like you have too much ink on here. Show you what I'm talking about. So see that light spot? That works better than all this dark area that was just re-inked. And this right here is what it looks like when it's too heavily inked. That I got in the middle of the light spot. But it's not terrible. And when it dries, it's going to be softer than that. It's okay. So now there are dies. I don't need all this. This was just to show you the different ways to tear. There are dies for all three hearts. The big one, the fluffy one, and the sleek one. So we're doing this one. And you could cut all these out with a die. Just like that. Just like that going to go on here. Let's finish up the inside. So for the outside, thinking of you with all my heart. I like that. That's for the outside. The inside is that friend one. Life is better with a friend like you. I like that one. As you could tell, I've used it over and over. Pretty. Oh, the red ink, I might as well stamp my little panel. So this, I'm going to stamp it at the bottom, just like I did with this one. It'll be similar to this card. Okay, but you know what? I think I put my label, it looks like it's on crooked, so I'm going to test it once. And I'm going to test it right along the bottom edge of this paper, I'm trying to get it lined up. If it's lined up, the image is on fine. And it looks like it's a little bit high over here. So, ink it up again. 
and I'm going to drop down that edge just a little bit. Perfect. Okay, I think we're done stamping. Okay, so to lay these hearts on here, it's good just to lay them out just so you um, have an idea of where and how they, you know what, I want that one. Okay, start with the bottom one. And I want them a little bit random. Maybe a little bit more space. But you see how these are all, well, I guess it was this side. I was thinking red, 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 pink, pink. When I look at it, it's obvious. But maybe I just need to make these more, more random. I was looking at um, Lynn Dunn's, and hers are like that too. She just, because her sample looks good, it looks just like, just like that. Okay, so I'm going to go with that. Can you tell I'm, I'm trying to figure it out? Okay, I'm going to do it different. Just a little bit. But I want this one to be on top. Oh, she has her bottom one on top. Okay. So let's just start with this. And you know, I got a little fancy on this one. I might try that. This one was flat. This one was glued under the top and then a dimensional here. Glued, dimensional, glued, dimensional, all dimensional. I'm going to try that. So at the top, it's going to be all glue. Heart number one, all glue. Kind of in the middle. And I'm trying to leave a little bit of a border here because I, I don't want it to get too, too busy. If I have it right to the edge, your eye is like, where am I looking? Okay, and so this one, I think I'll put dimensional. I'll try mini. Ooh, here's a little half dimensional dimensional at the top and then glue here I know I'm getting I'm getting all fancy but you could just stick them down flat or have them all on dimensionals okay so dimensional dimensional glue and I'll put pictures of this, and I think the pictures, if you were um, making this on your own, you would know what I'm talking about. And um, the pictures will show where the dimensionals are, because you can see a little bit of a shadow here. Okay, and this one, again, two dimensionals. And glue. And then this one is going to be straight right here and with all dimensionals. It's raining again. Okay, right in the middle, all dimensionals. Thinking of you with all my heart. That's really cute. Okay. So, before you just stick it all together, we do want ribbon or that cording to wrap around here. You're probably thinking, how am I going to do that? Do I wrap it just around the cardstock? Because the designer paper is a bit of a lighter weight. So, let's start by putting the focal point on. And I have a plant. Oh, and then positioning of this piece. See, I'm getting all fancy. This one... I have it right in the middle. 
equal here, equal here, kind of equal in those spots. Next one, I put the white piece up higher at the top. This one, how about maybe over here a little bit closer to the torn edge. Nobody else would notice all these little things that we do. Okay, so my trick is when you have your pieces, you're ready to put your ribbon on, take your Blushing Bride Texture piece. Oh, the dog is out there in the rain. Bo, I'm almost done. You have to wait. Um, put some adhesive on here. I see you. Go to the other door. Other door. And then layer this right here. <laughs> He's telling me he wants to come in. And then stick it down. So now there was tape just right underneath this torn piece, so now they're stuck together. So now you could put the ribbon around and it has a perfect border all the way around. Okay, so cording. I guess this is cording rather than ribbon. He gave up. I think he went to his bed on the porch. Why does he insist on being out? I don't know. It's cold. So to attach this, put a little bit of adhesive right here and here. You know what, looking at this, can you see how my blushing bride piece is a little bit bigger? I'm going to trim that. It's the same paper cutter. I don't know why. It has to be human error. Okay, so they're sticky right here and sticky here. I'm going to put this, push it into there. Oop, I want it further over onto the Blushing Bride. The designer paper, that's a little textured and crazy. So because I'm doing two layers of this, I'm kind of crisscrossing them. Because if I'm doing two layers, I don't want them on top of each other. I want you to see that, yeah, I put two layers on there. And then cut this. Okay, so this is ready to go onto the card front. And you know, because there's that cording there, I might get some tear tape, tear, tear and tape. And just put a little bit right there. Otherwise, it's going to have a tendency and want to pop up on me. We don't want that. Push it down. And then take off the covering. Now it is sticky. Okay. So this gets put on right in the center. And I'm going to do, you like my um, cord holder? Dimensionals. Who knew all the things are good for? So this, I'm just going to do a simple bow. I don't know if I should do a double bow. Simple bow, but I'm going to leave it with long tails. He's back. The beast in the wilderness. Okay. Well, those might be too long. So I'm just going to stick it right here. I'm going to get a glue dot. I'm going to fold it over just because this fiber is so small. <laughs> you hear him? Why did he decide he needs to go out there? I don't know. Oh, 
I know. I hear you. Go to the other door. Other door. He's like, but you're not going to the other door. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, the life of being a dog, a spoiled dog owner. <laughs> okay, Bo. And then let's do the insides and then put a little bling on it. Bo, Bo, you have to wait, wait. And then the insides. He went away. Okay, insides are done. See, that's really sweet. Just simple. Okay, I kind of like the long strings. Okay, so now for the bling. Let's do wonderful gems. And how about three of them? Right here. This is how um, Lynn did hers. But she had those little hearts. I have some of those hearts too. I should pull them out. One, two, three. I think she did just two, but I like three. Okay, so there it is. Isn't that just sweet, cute? And it went together easily and quick. Thinking maybe I should trim those, but I kind of like them. Okay, there it is. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.